you said, I do not support the military option to resist Israeli occupation in Palestine. I prefer civil insurrection and disobedience. Well, that may be the case, but Palestinians would argue they've already tried that. They've been shot in their kneecaps. They've had both their leaders as well as very young minors arrested on terrorism charges. So, Prince Turkey, if I can ask, what can the Palestinians do in very practical terms to resist this illegal occupation? Well, I've mentioned several examples where uh, civil insurrection and uh, uh, resistance uh, has proved to be more uh, efficient and more uh, capable of achieving the, the, uh, the ends of, uh, of uh, ending colonialism, for example, in India. Um, in South Africa uh, as well, uh, there are good examples of, of civil insurrection and, and disobedience uh, achieving for the South African people their freedom from apartheid. Um, and so uh, I have seen no results for um, the military uh, resistance that uh, not just Hamas but other groups uh, in uh, Palestine have uh, undertaken against Israeli forces. But after a 75-year occupation, it feels like civil insurrection and disobedience clearly is not working. Well, I have not seen civil uh, insurrection and disobedience of the scale that were practiced in, uh, in India and in other places to remove the colonial yoke from their backs. Uh, and I'd like to see more of that in the Palestinian lands against the, uh, the Israeli occupation. That's where I come from, uh, in my view, about uh, military uh, resistance to, uh, to Israel. I'd like to see more of that uh, happening, uh, not just in, uh, in Gaza, but also in the West Bank.